Oh man, I wish I'd have started this video just a little bit earlier because what I just missed was really great footage of what my neighbor has to do to get his, his, his new fucking Toyota killing machine oversized truck out of the covered parking that, that he has next to me. And it was, it was laughably ridiculous. Like he had to very carefully back up and, and then navigate backwards quite a ways down the alley because the vehicle's too big to just back up and turn around like I back up and turn around my vehicle. And then he had to back, um, back all the way up to the, uh, to the parking. And that's not, not the reserve covered parking, but the parking in the dirt that's a little bit further to the, uh, a little bit further to the west. And they had to pack into there, duck into a spot there. I wonder what he would do if all those spots were full. I mean, they very rarely are, but what if they were? Where would he have gone? I don't know. Would he have backed, backed out all the way to 46th Street? Maybe. But he had to back into there and then and then get all the way back there and then turn turn right and drive forward out the alley, which is about where I was in the start of the video. Anyway, I really like that guy. He's a good guy, but... And I'm, but I'm, I'm just disappointed that he got rid of his classic Ford. Like I forget what year it was. I want to say he had like a like a like a mid '90s Ford, and it was a nice shape. He got rid of that to get that Toyota killing machine monstrosity. Whoa! 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 Wow! I just saw a bunch of hotties in fucking bikinis with a wow. I don't want to back up and look at that again, but... But, yeah, I wasn't invited to that party, and, and probably half of them underage anyway, so... Moving on, uh, going forward, it is, a uh, Sunday. It's Sunday. Uh, oh, look at this new, new political ad right in the media. Elijah Horton, unfit for Congress. I find it hysterical that Arizona law allows for political ads to be placed in places like that. It's crazy. And it's amazing how many people are swayed by ads like that that don't really show anything. Like, oh, that guy, I won't vote for him, he's unfit for Congress. Can we get a source on that? No, we can't. That's just a sign of an median that would be considered illegal litter if it was anything else. Uh, you know, I, I dig the fact that last election, there was a uh, mortgage lending company called Homie that somehow took advantage of the, uh, the law that allows like political ads to be just stuck up like litter like that during a uh, during an election cycle and they use it to advertise uh, advertise their website call me. I don't know anything about it but the site the sites were amusing uh, I believe there was a restaurant that did that like the election before um, I forget what the campaign was but it was pretty awesome um, anyway oh I said the day it didn't say the time hello it's uh 46 p.m. Um, I just spent most of the afternoon with probably the uh, only really true friend that I still have left in the world, and um, probably fucked with his sleep cycle, definitely fucked with mine, and uh, um, yeah, without going into any details <laughs> about what that was about. Um, Let's just say that uh, I dug out my um, Motorola Droid 4 that I haven't mentioned in a long time. I dug it out because I thought it was the only um, portable recording device that I still had. And I uh, shot a whole bunch of videos on it as I was having a total and complete mental meltdown over something that really only happened in my head. At some point, I'm going to elaborate on that. I don't feel ready to do that yet. How 
However, the fact that the fact that that what I thought was real in my head just confirms that that there is like like they say when you have no trust in a relationship that it's over and um, if on a scale of 1 to 10 trust is 10 and no trust is 4 uh, after today Priscilla and I are like at at a zero because I thought she did something really really fucked up and she didn't to be completely fair she didn't I mean did she disappear on a Saturday night and not come home oh yeah yeah every fucking Saturday night hello is she uh is she off you know doing stuff with the guy that gave her the bass guitar most likely because uh when I woke up last night at midnight not only was she gone but so was the bass guitar and so was the laptop that I was getting frustrated about her leaving on so um yeah and she hasn't been home nor have I seen her or heard from her since midnight and it's uh you know, going on 5 p.m. And I've been home most of that time. So, uh, yeah. And what makes it even worse is that yesterday afternoon, there actually was some physical intimacy. It happened. She, uh... She, uh, took off her shirt and her bra and just... Completely uh, unexpectedly walked into my room, completely topless, and then proceeded to take everything else off. Which is something that hasn't happened in a long time. I mean, it, it got to the point that even when we did have sex, like, she still had a shirt and a bra, and, like, that's, that's teenager shit. That's the shit that you do as a teenager when you worry your parents are going to walk in. That's not the stuff you do with a, with a significant other that you've been with for over a decade. We're just shy of 12 years right now. And, uh, but, yeah. No. The last... Uh, the last 24 hours have just definitely proved that I have, regardless of what trust she has in me, which I'm sure is none, and that's her. I've earned that. I have. I couldn't even say off the top of my head how many people I have cheated on her with. I couldn't even tell you. And maybe she's telling the truth that she hasn't cheated on me with anybody. There's a very distinct possibility that the guy that gave her the base has never even seen those breasts that were right up in my face yesterday. There's a very distinct possibility that, that he hasn't. I don't know. What I do know is that when, when I called him her boyfriend, she said that he wasn't. And it's just a friend. <laughs> I hear the term just a friend. I'm thinking of a Bismarck song. And a pretty strong lesson learned from said Bismarck song. Which, of course, was sang at my show on Thursday night. Because it's just one of them songs that needs to be sang at probably every karaoke show. Um, I'm like, okay, then who is it? He's just a friend. Who is it? Why do you want to know? I'd like to know. He's just a friend. It shouldn't be a problem telling me, right? Yeah, she didn't tell me. I've got some theories. And in the videos I shot while I was having my breakdown today, I, uh, I expounded pretty deeply on those theories. Um, I'm probably not going to upload those videos anytime soon. Uh, my game plan, which is always subject to change, is just uploading them in chronological order. Um, and I think right now, like, the video that is just uploaded or was in the process of uploading, as I 
start recording this. Was the one as I was driving from uh, Cox, uh, the Cox cable store to Bullock's Cocktails. And I forget the, the details on that one because that was, you know, that was Thursday and it's already Sunday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, we got them. Three days behind on uploading. It happens when I'm oversharing. And on that notice, I'll probably stop oversharing. I try to move on with my goddamn life. But, um, yeah. Um, she, um, yeah, um, <laughs> her credit card went. If you saw the video, you already heard it. it's all new. It's like her credit card went and it paid for the July internet. I'm going to say we're squaring the bills. I feel like, in light of that getting paid, I feel like we're pretty much squaring the bills. I definitely do. Um, she hasn't mentioned that yet, so I'm assuming she hasn't seen that yet. I don't think she would have gotten naked with me yesterday and she realized that on Thursday I when she, you know, sent me an email saying that that she felt like she'd overpaid and that I was not being equitable with the, what I was asking for in bills, so she wasn't giving me any more money. Um, I think if, I think if she knew that my response to that was not was rather than than um, continuing to like argue that <laughs> my response was just that's fine I got a credit card that fucking comes out of your bank account and uh, I'm just gonna go pay this month's internet I'm just gonna go pay it that's fine because you fucking know it because you use it for your work at home job that you come here to work at like my like my home is your office and your boyfriend that's not your that's just a friend um, <laughs> is is you know where you go when you're not working yeah what kind of relationship is that leaving me, you know? And she's like, well, I feel like the stuff you're upset about is the stuff you've done to me that, that I had to put up with. And you know what? She's not wrong. She's not wrong. I literally cannot say off the top of my head how many people I have cheated on her with. What can I say? I'm kind of a whore. No, no, I'm not a whore, because I... Well, I actually have been paid for it. I'll say, no, I'm more of a slut than a whore, but you know, no, I've been paid for it. I, I still have a red CRX. And uh, yeah, bill of sale says $10. I never gave that woman a penny, but I laid pipe really good and she gave me a car. And when I first, when I first moved to, uh, first moved to Laramie, I was 18 years old and I needed a place to stay but I didn't have money to get an apartment I don't remember exactly how the hell I pulled it off but I spent a week making an older woman and by older I mean god she was old she must have been god she must have been like almost 30 <laughs> Uh, making her really happy. She gave me a place to live. And at one point, like, she felt I was using her. <laughs> kind of was. But that was fine because at that point I got my first paycheck from KRQU in Laramie and I got an apartment. Um, I could go on. I could go on. So, yeah. My mom watches these vlogs. She's probably crying right now. Sorry, mom. Kind of over. I don't even know if I believe in love anymore. It's not that kind of love. I think I love Priscilla, but I don't know. I don't know. You know, what is love? Let's put that on the list. So many sequels for what is a woman. You know, what is a woman? What is a man? What is an assault rifle? I'm not even gonna digress on that one. Uh, what is a friend? What is love? And how many songs have asked that question, right? Cue up the SNL skit. What is love? Don't hurt me no more. Yeah. 
I'm getting hurt. And I've been hurting her a lot. So is that love? That's love. It's... I don't want that. She doesn't deserve that either. Did I love my wife? I think I did. Shit, there were moments I think I might have even loved Elise. Lily's mother. Definitely when I was there for Lily's birth, I felt a love for her that it was really, really deep. Of course, when I found out later that she didn't even put my name on the birth certificate and tried to play it off like she didn't know who the father was, <laughs> I was fucking livid. So maybe that love was misplaced. At any rate, I've, I've made a decision. It's time to get her slow the hell out of my apartment. It's time to focus on, on finding my daughter, getting my apartment right, just being right with me. And uh, other lovers will happen. I, I shouldn't even worry about that. I worry about that, but I shouldn't. Oh, and let's not forget Georgia from D Camp. Tonight when I'm at work, I see Georgia for decan. More than that, I'm hoping I can stay awake and maneuver my freaking freaking uh, forklift because I've been, with the exception of maybe a 20-minute nap, I've been awake and highly fucking stressed out since midnight. And it's just about five o'clock now, and in two hours I'm logging into. I'm clocking in at Amazon and I'm gonna most likely be on a forklift working on totes. Most likely. I really know what's going on. As I've said, my, my routine now is I clock in, I go to inbound, I talk to the LP there, and it's a very small department. She's really cute, by the way. Um, talk to her, and if she's got room for me, I'm the tote guy. I seem to be very loved as the tote guy, even though I've only done four shifts of it. Last shift I did on Wednesday was freaking amazing. Like I did both loading zones and I was so good at it that the other the other people that were driving driving forklifts all like cut out and ducked out early and I uh, just basically finished finished off that department. It was amazing. And my supervisor. I saw her when it clocked in. That's it. I saw her maybe twice, like in a distance. I waved at her, she went back. I love working in that apartment. I love, I love doing it. I love doing the totes. So I'm hoping that's what's happening. But yeah, I, I go in, I go there. But I mean, you know, since I've been doing it, there have been two nights, uh, last last Monday and last Tuesday, where she's like, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really have room for you. And that's fine. And I went to inbound. And on uh, on Tuesday night. I went back to being the, the, the forklift pallet guy, which I thoroughly love. And on, um, on, um, that was actually, actually come to think of that was Monday night. My bad, that was Monday night. And that was only half shift anyway. And oh my God, that's like hands down the worst I've ever seen day shift leave the pallets. Like they were, they were just everywhere. It was freaking ridiculous. But you know, whatever. I uh, I handled it the best I could. Um, Tuesday night, I did pallets, and uh, I did I did I did pallets. But I spent probably about half the night in a load of trucks, and I did well at it. Anyway, that's where I'm at. Um. Uh, by the time the only real friend that I seem to have left on this world rolled out of my place, <laughs> saved me from kind of an existential crisis and uh, helped me find what <laughs> helped me find what I thought was stolen from me, which in fact wasn't, which I could not have found without his help. Uh, um, I realized what time it was and did a little straightening up in my room and it's like, yeah, if I go to sleep right now, it doesn't matter if I set an alarm. <laughs> I'm, I'm not waking up in time to go go hit Amazon at 7. And I don't feel like I have enough PTO right now to 
if I do it. Although I will tell you this, when I get in the bar, I'm going to look and see if there's a VTO opportunity tonight, and if there is, I'm taking it. So, because I can. Um, but I don't expect it. Anyway, clock, clock in my car shows it straight at 5 o'clock, which actually means it's 5.02. Love me some Everclear. Perfect, shiny, and new. Um, yeah. I won't be singing Hearts Bark Dollar Sign tonight. I mean, maybe if uh, Georgia and I, Georgia from Decant and I hook up, I might start singing Hearts Bark Dollar Sign again, but um, I've retired that song for a minute. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, there's no point in me going to sleep. I would overslap. So... Five o'clock. I got about an hour and 20 minutes to enjoy karaoke at Oz Bar, so I'm gonna sing my fucking life as much as I can. Thanks for coming with on the drive. <laughs>